And welcome to Sexy Tarot Cross Watcher. This will be your edition of Sexy Tarot Cross Watcher's Dream. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Cross Watcher, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Cross Watcher. As I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the Gemini, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Cross Watcher. As I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, then this is not your Cross Watcher's dream. If you are here cross watching for a Gemini, you are in the right place. You are in the right place. I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. The first thing I'm going to do is get you six messages from the Geminian. Spirit, what does Gemini want to tell the cross watcher? What does Gemini want to tell the cross watcher, Spirit? I'm mad at myself for behaving this way. So the Gemini could have done something um, out of character. Or they could have behaved in such a fashion that disappointed you, disappointed themselves, and they feel bad for the way they behaved. Wherever you are is home to me. Wherever you are is home to me. So Gemini feels like wherever you are is home to them. The Gemini um, is upset at themselves for behaving this way. They could have made you feel like they didn't want to be with you anymore. But I feel like nothing is further from the truth. Spirit, what else does Gemini want to tell the cross watcher? I need to be alone now. I need to be alone now. So Gemini is taking some time out to do some inner reflection and contemplate all that has occurred. They seem to be in a um, dark space right now with these shadow cards showing up. I should have been honest about my feelings. So there was something Gemini um, did not express to you about their feelings. And um, I feel like it gave you mixed messages. Spirit, what else does Gemini want to tell the cross watcher? Too many. Oh, you can't take this. Can you forgive me? Can you try to understand me? So it's almost like Gemini needs you to connect with their energy because it's something they really want to communicate to you. They find it hard to communicate this with you. And right now they need some time to be alone and they want you to forgive them for um, possibly ghosting you or abandoning you at this time. And they just really uh, want your understanding. Maybe we're too different and that's why we disagree and fight. So the Gemini feels like the two of you are on different pages right now. Um, and I think they're tired of the arguments and the fighting. So they just really want to pull back their energy again to do some soul searching. I contradict myself and give you mixed messages. And this is what I was feeling earlier on looking at these cars. That I feel like Gemini loves you, but however they're behaving, they're a little standoffish. And they make you feel like that they may not be part of this connection. I want you to believe in me again. I want you to believe in me again. And I feel like Gemini is working on themselves, doing some shadow work, so that when they return to you, that they can be 100%, give you what you deserve, and not give you mixed messages and restore the confidence in this connection. Spirit, may I have two more messages from Gemini to the cross watcher? Two more. Thank you. You're my secret inspiration. So... However you interact with the Gemini, I feel like you um, make Gemini realize 
some flaws that they may have. I feel like you um you spark Gemini to want to go deeper and take a closer look at themselves to see what role they played in um possibly bringing a um a negative overtone to this connection. So I feel like Gemini is taking accountability. We come from different worlds. We come from different worlds. I feel like the way that Gemini looks at the situation and the way you look at the situation are on different, you know, I feel like there are different perspectives here. Or maybe you and the Gemini had different upbringings, okay, which um, makes Gemini feel like you and them are not on the same page. Spirit may have one more message from the Gemini to the cross. Thank you. I don't trust easily. I don't trust easily. I feel like right now Gemini needs to be alone to figure out why they why they don't trust the situation. I feel like Gemini is mad at themselves because they cannot find the trust and the faith in this connection. I really don't feel like I'm sorry, a call was coming in. I really don't feel like this is um anything you've done. I feel like the Gemini really wants your understanding at this time why they take this time alone. I know it's hard, but please be patient with me. And they really want your patience. So let's get into this reading. One second, Frost Watcher. Give me a second. I need to answer this. My apologies, Cross Watcher. So let's get into this reading. See what it is that Gemini wants to say to you on the crack. So Gemini um, wants you back. Gemini has made a decision. They want to reconcile with you. They want to reunite with you. Um, this may be a friend dynamic. However, the Gemini wants the good times back with you. And they want to express some truths to you, Cross Watcher. One good shuffle for the Gemini. Spirit, what is it that the Gemini wants to tell the Cross Watcher? What is it the Gemini wants to tell the Cross Watcher? Cross Watcher, in the recent past... The Gemini experienced the Eight of Cups. In the current situation, the Gemini is experiencing the High Priestess. So you and the Gemini aren't talking right now. What the Gemini thinks of you is the Chariot. They think you're, you've moved on. How the Gemini views you is the Queen of Pentacles. They view you as very nurturing, inspiring, patient, and kind. How the Gemini feels about you is the Two of Wands. So they feel they're at a crossroads or you're at a crossroads, but they feel like they need to make a decision, possibly between two people. How Gemini sees you and them moving forward, the Five of Swords. Um, so the Gemini is determined to win, okay? Um, but there's a battle going on here moving forward. 
What's in the hidden energies for you in the Gemini is the Queen of Swords. There needs to be a truthful conversation um, that needs to occur about some behaviors that may need to be cut out or some um, one that needs to be cut out. Spirit's advice to you when dealing with the Gemini cross watcher is the Page of Cups possibly forgiveness and this is the potential outcome cross watcher at the bottom of the deck the reason you're viewing this reading today is the queen of cups queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy the reason you're viewing this reading is because you're searching your emotions you're listening to your intuition cross watcher you could feel like that you're closing your cup of love right now just to figure things out right i feel like at this time maybe you you might not be giving emotions to this connection but there is love here at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of wands you have the Page of Swords and you have the Hermits. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo with the Hermit energy. I'm sorry, some of you are Virgos with the Hermit energy and other, others of you are Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy with this Page of Swords. And Cross Watcher, I feel like that right now, again, you're doing some soul searching, some soul searching, searching your emotions. And you're like, you know, this is too much. Like, this is a burden. Like, all this baggage is too heavy for you. And I feel like this is the revelation that you're coming to while doing this soul searching Cross Watcher. I also feel like you, um, you, you, I just feel like you did this soul searching and you just like, this too much. I feel like you, this just too hard. I feel like you, you feel like it doesn't have to be this hard. In the recent past, the Gemini experienced the eight of cups, the eight of cups. So in the recent past, you could have walked away from the Gemini or the Gemini could have walked away from you. It was emotionally draining. I don't know why I feel like a ghosting energy for some of you here. So let's see what this walking away was about. Spirit, in the recent past, the Gemini experienced the Eight of Cups. Why did Gemini experience the Eight of Cups? Thank you. Mm, well, that will do it. That will do it. At the bottom of the deck, you have express, you have challenges, and very soon. And Cross Watcher, you feel like a decision needs to be very made very soon. I feel like you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about these obstacles, these challenges that were put in the way. Um, or I feel like the Gemini is going to make a decision very soon to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation of why this is so hard. So it's one or the other. But in the recent past, the Gemini walked um, walked away or you walked away from the Gemini due to this deception. The, the, this deception. Things are not as they seem. Watch out for dishonesty. I feel like in the recent past, um, there was some emotional uh, trauma. Something was so draining due to a deception but i don't know if the gemini caused this deception and you walked away or i don't know if you caused this deception and the gemini walked away but we're going to figure this out but gemini saying listen in the recent past there was something very there was something emotionally draining here and it had to do with a deception that caused either you or them to walk away. Spirit, tell, can I have the energy surrounding this deception in the recent past for Gemini? What is thank you? At the bottom of the deck, you have creativity. You have anxiety and illumination. And Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is you see things clearly. It was illuminated and brought to your attention that the stress, that was the anxiety that was caused in this situation was because either Gemini created it or you created it. But with creativity here, it's almost, I feel like that this creates, this illumination here is like my Ace of Swords energy, okay? So I feel like you made a decision to sever this connection 
situation because you feel like that somebody was just causing problems. They was creating these problems. So I feel as it stands, it could be you feel like the Gemini done this to you. Well, cross watcher in the recent past, Gemini is saying that you walked away because you were emotionally drained because they wouldn't stop deceiving you or they wouldn't stop being dishonest. That's what I'm hearing. Like somebody, and it could be vice versa. But somebody, somebody walked away because the other would not stop being dishonest. Spirit, in the recent past, it looked like there was a walking away due to someone being emotionally drained. Someone wouldn't stop being dishonest. Can you tell the cross watcher about this for Gemini? At the bottom of the deck, you have woman, you have reconciliation and fragmented. And for us watching, what you're telling me here is um, something is incomplete here. Something's not making sense about why Gemini got with this woman. Or cross watcher, what you telling me is something is not making sense. Something is incomplete. And this is why you don't want to reconcile with this woman or this woman doesn't want to reconcile. Okay. But right now it's like somebody confused and they feel like that you like, look, Jim and I got too much going on sexy, you know, something not making sense. Like how did they get with this woman? I don't know who that's for. Well, Gemini in, in the recent past is saying that there was a certain action, something took place. They telling me that love struck them un, unexpectedly in the recent past. Gemini is saying, listen, sexy, or somebody walked away from me because I wouldn't stop being dishonest. And it was something that suddenly happened. You know, like love just struck me unexpectedly. Spirit, can you tell me about this lightning energy in the recent past for Gemini? Spirit, can you tell me about this lightning energy? Okay. Now, you know your story better than I do, so you put the energies where they belong. At the bottom of the deck, you have the whip. You have the document, the letter, and the dog, okay? So, let's see. So, there's a decision that needs to be made here based off of what was what you were awakened to, okay? You don't know if the Gemini is loyal. You don't know if you can be happy and free with the Gemini. Um, this could be a family dynamic. But, Cross Watcher, what you're telling me is you got to think about this because this hurt. You got to look at the truth of the situation before you make this decision because you feel like there was some secrets here. And whatever truth that was exposed to you, now you're left with making a decision. But, th but it caused a lot of pain, whatever this is. And you feel like this ain't the first time this happened. Cross watcher Gemini is saying you walked away from them because they wouldn't stop being dishonest about them going out in public. This could have been a date. You know, they made a decision to go out with somebody out the clear blue that made this connection kind of stuck. Something was um happened in the public out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And I feel like this was a date. Or I feel like something was revealed about something in the public. And now a decision has to be made. Spirit, in the recent past, Gemini is saying there was a walking away because someone wouldn't stop being dishonest. It looks like there was a quick action to make a decision to do something in the public. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have make-believe, you have options, and locked out. And cross-watcher, what you're telling me is look sexy. I, my heart is closed right now. 
I'm hard to reach. I don't even understand this because Jim and I had options, okay? And they lied about these options. I feel like the Jim and I is being fake to me, okay? And whatever they're telling me is too good to be true. So right now, I'm just closed off sexy. I hear you cross watcher. Well, Gemini is saying in the recent past, you walked away because they wouldn't stop being dishonest. And then out the clear blue, they made a decision to go out with somebody, okay? Gemini is saying that in the recent past that they um they met up with somebody. That's what I'm hearing because that garden car here. And they met up with somebody and it was shocking to them that... um. It was shocking to you that they reached out and met up with this person. And like I said, I don't feel like this was the first time this happened with repeated patterns. So Gemini is telling me, yeah, the cross watcher walked away from me because they were shocked that I went out with somebody in the public. And it's not the first time that I did this to them. Cross watcher in the current situation and the current situation. The Gemini is experiencing the high priestess, the high priestess. Currently, the Gemini is a talking. Currently, the Gemini does have some secrets. Currently, the Gemini is trying to use the intuition. Gemini does feel like this is a spiritual connection with the high priestess being here. Some of you are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energies. And with transformation energy, that's Scorpio's energy, okay? Um, Gemini is saying like... They not talking about this. That secretly they are confident that there's a breakthrough here. So Gemini is currently using their intuition about transforming this connection. And they're confident that they could transform it, but they're not talking about it in relation to this contract. Okay. So the Gemini could be married or you could be married. But there's this, or this could be a business contract, but the Gemini is going to have the courage and strength to leave this toxicity behind, okay? They're going to take control over this, and um, there is a bird in here, there's some baggage, and Gemini seems to be walking away from a contract. Or a marriage or a commitment, but whatever this is, this is something legally binding. Spirit. Gemini currently is not talking about that they're confident that they can have a breakthrough in this situation. Gemini is going to find the courage and strength to move on and take control over the situation, but it looks like they're leaving a contract. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have you are a gem. Some of you are Geminis. You have the perfect match and you have sneak. And what you tell me, Cross Watcher, is the Gemini is a snake. They sneaky, they lied to you, they betrayed you, they bring you bad news. You felt like the Gemini completed you and that you, the Gemini told you that they completed you and there was no one that compared to you. But you feel like that it was all a lie and they was just sneaky and they betrayed you. Well, Cross Watcher, Gemini is saying that when it comes to this soulmate, this soul contract, this divine union, that they were trying to be loyal and reliable in this contract. However, they don't they lost the spark with unrequited love. Things are not the same anymore. And this is why they're leaving this contract behind. Okay. But they, they're not telling you this at the moment. Cross watcher, what the Gemini thinks of you, what they think of you is the chariot. The chariot. The Gemini, um, some of you are cancers. The Gemini is saying, listen, they um they they think that you're determined to move for, move forward. The Gemini thinks you're very confident. The Gemini feels as though you're a go-getter, but the Gemini is thinking of coming to you. Because they feel like this is a spiritual connection. Some of your Tauruses with the spiritual card. The Gemini is determined to come towards you. They're trying to be strong. Um, th again, this is something traditional. 
or um, Gemini feels like there's a spiritual lesson here, and they're they're determined to learn the spiritual lesson. The Gemini is thinking like, you know what, I'm going to go to the cross watcher because this is a spiritual connection, and I feel like they're determined to do this. And the reason is because the Gemini feels like that, you know, things have changed now, and they're listening to their intuition. They feel like it's time to renew this connection. Like Gemini's thinking, like they had this power powerful in, inner transformation, this transformation, whatever this was, this was spiritual, and I feel like the Gemini is leaving an old flame behind, I feel like they're embracing something new here, spirit, spirit, Gemini, is thinking that they're going to come towards the cross watcher. They feel like there's a strong spiritual connection with the cross watcher. It looks like Gemini feels like it's time to work on this and leave something old behind and embrace the new. At the bottom of the deck, you have confusion. You have spoil and love. And what you tell me, cross watchers, like when they came to this new door this this new experience in love with gemini you know you were confused you know the gemini was telling you all these things they wanted to do for you but somehow things got confused like you the gemini was unsure of what it is they wanted when it came to you in this connection right well, the Gemini is saying that they're thinking of coming towards you and they feel like y'all have a strong spiritual connection and it's time for them to lead the past in the past and build with, build with you if you're the new person. The Gemini is saying that you're their wish fulfillment. You put them on, they think that like you put them on cloud nine. It seemed like a, a dream. The Gemini is infatuated with you, especially sexually. They're obsessed with you. They can't get you off their mind. And the Gemini is like, look, they want to move on to the next person. Who, whoever the third party is, if you were married to the Gemini, I'm not talking to you. I'm just not. I'm sorry. I just, so this might not be a read. If the Gemini, if you the third party and Gemini is, um, if you're the third party and Gemini is in another connection, I'm talking to you. Cross watcher, how the Gemini views you. How the Gemini views you. Is the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The Gemini views you as very patient, nurturing, kind, inspiring. The Gemini views you also as stable. The Gemini views you as severing this connection for your peace of mind. The Gemini views you as um, making, a, making a decision to relocate and change things because there was no movement between you and them. Spirit, Gemini views the cross watcher as making an abrupt decision to end this because it was unhealthy to keep their peace of mind. Gemini views the cross watcher maybe is no longer wanting to relocate or move in with them. The Gemini views the cross watchers being very patient, nurturing, kind, and stable. At the bottom of the deck, we have unraveling. You have obstacles and incoming abundance. And you like, look, sexy, I, I'm beautiful. I know my worth. I'm not chasing the Gemini. I know I'm reliable. You know, I have a strong foundation as it stands. But however, you know, this is an obstacle. And the truth was exposed. And that's what tore this apart. Got it. And the Gemini could have made you some promises that they did not keep their word on 
For us, watcher, the Gemini views you as balancing things out. Some of you are Libras. The Gemini views you as realizing that it's time to make adjustments because whatever this was, it wasn't fair. The Gemini views you as thinking about this and reminiscent on how things were not fair. The Gemini views you as being very affectionate, lovey-dovey, and giving them lots of attention and public displays of affection. How the Gemini feels about you. How the Gemini feels about you. They feel like that you're at a crossroads, but the Gemini feels like they're about to make a decision and they're making plans right now. The Gemini is choosing between two people for some of you. The Gemini feels like that you let this go because it wasn't safe to love them. The Gemini feels like you're very spiritually connected to your higher power and that you trust in your higher power and that you make decisions based off of your manifestations and what your intuition is telling you. So the Gemini feels like we have a strong spiritual faith. Spirit, Gemini feels that they want to make a decision. They're planning for the cross watcher right now. The Gemini feels like the cross watcher has left this connection because it wasn't safe for them. Gemini feels like the cross watcher faces the truth based off of what their intuition tells them. Tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have Sour Patch. You have Flow and Take Two. And cross watcher, what you tell me is when it comes to giving giving the Gemini a second chance to try this again, you're going to let it flow. But you have mixed feelings about this because you're not sure if you can trust the Gemini because you feel like they want they hot and cold. Like, you don't know, the Gemini don't let it flow. You feel like the Gemini don't let it flow. Like, sometimes they feel like it, sometimes they don't. Well, the Gemini feels like they're making plans right now to make a decision. They feel like you let them go because you didn't feel like it was safe for you to love the Gemini. The Gemini feels like that you face the truth and you listen to your intuition based off of what the, your higher power tells you. The Gemini feels like there's a lot of sparks of chemistry and you may be a newer connection for the Gemini. The Gemini feels like that you see past the illusions and these unkept promises because I did feel like there was some unkept promises. The Gemini feels like that you're ignoring them on purpose. How Gemini sees you and them moving forward is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords. The Gemini feels like moving forward is going to be a battle to win your heart back because of some mind games and manipulation. It could have been some petty arguments, some tit-for-tat communication. But the Gemini knows that moving forward is going to be a battle to win you, win you back. The Gemini wants to make, moving forward, they want to make something happen. So what they want to do is they're going to reach out to you. The Gemini is going to reach out to you because they have all these deep emotions for you and they want to return to you. Okay, the Gemini feels like they, um, they want to make a decision to build with you, collaborate with you, and change things because they feel like moving forward that you're a part of their purpose, their destiny in life. Gemini spirit, Gemini moving forward with the cross watcher, they know it's going to be a battle. The Gemini wants to make something happen and communicate with the cross watcher. The Gemini wants to change things and return to the cross watcher because they feel like this is their life purpose. At the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Some of you are Geminis. You have the spotlight in summer. And cross watcher, what you're telling me is you're in a great space. You feel good. You have a positive attitude. This did not weigh you down. You feel you. You telling me that you gave a lot of attention to the Gemini. You also telling me that you're you um are in the spotlight for some of you. You get a lot of attention. People recognize you. People love you. You also telling me that um you make you're making attention. You're making a decision to focus on you. You could be spending a lot of time with your friends. But what you're telling me is, Frost Watcher, you're in a great place. 
But Crosswatcher, the Gemini knows that it's going to be a battle to move forward with you. They want to make um, something happen by communicating with you. They feel like there's a lot of deep emotions here. They realize they played some mind games. So that, that's where the battle is going to come in at. The Gemini feels like that, you know, emotionally you and them are spiritually connected. The, they know it's going to be a battle due to their sneaky lies, their betrayal, and some bad news. But the Gemini is love sick, they're heartbroken, and they feel empty without you because you could have blocked the Gemini. So they don't know how to communicate with you, and they're trying to make this happen. What's in the hidden energies for you and the Gemini that you, you don't see coming? is the queen of swords the queen of swords aquarius gemini libra energy um so i want to say i got two queens here you know this queen of cups could be adopting it i got three queens here i got the queen of cups the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles okay so one of you could be adopting the energy of this queen of swords and being very cold right now one of you could like the queen of swords and the queen of cups could be the same person like this person could be searching their emotions and facing the truth that it's time for this to go or this queen of cups and this queen of pentacles could be the same person but there are two female energies here so i'm gonna say that out loud right now cross watchers so what's in the hidden energies is there's going to be a truthful conversation that's going to happen between you and the gemini and what needs to be let go in the hidden energies cross watcher this truthful conversation is going to be about if somebody is truly single and available to pursue and if this could move forward this truthful conversation is going to be about this hot mess and what made this connection stuck. You know, uh, why it didn't work. And spirit is seeing that in the hidden energies, it's going to be a truthful conversation about, look, if you're not single, don't come towards me. Because th this, is, this is ridiculous. This is a hot mess. You know, it's disorderly. It's chaotic. You know, and it makes somebody feel miserable and unhappy. So somebody feels like they're miserable and unhappy in the connection and they want to be single. And that's what's in the hidden energies for you in the Gemini spirit and the hidden energies it's going to be a truthful conversation between gemini and the cross watcher that someone wants to become single and available to pursue um because they feel like where they stuck at is chaotic and causing them a lot of stress tell the cross watcher about this at the bottom of the deck you have winter you have the lovers, some of you, again, are Gemini's yourself too, in the spotlight. And you like, look sexy, look, I get a lot of attention. I get a lot of recognition. And I'm going to make the decision to leave this behind because I, I recognize this ain't going nowhere. Or what you're saying is to me, or what you're saying to me is, look sexy, I'm going to make a decision. I recognize Gemini needs to make a decision. I love the Gemini, but they better make a choice to leave something behind if they want me. I hate you, Cross Watcher. Well, Cross Watcher in the hidden energies, it will be this conversation that somebody needs to be single and available to pursue because I really feel like this is a third party situation or there's some outside interference here. And spirit is saying that in the hidden energies, there's going to be a truthful conversation about someone not being single and available to pursue and that they stuck in a chaotic environment. In the hidden energies, someone is going to be sheltered off because they don't know if they can trust the situation because of another's insecurities. In the hidden energies, somebody is closed off and they um overprotective because they don't trust this. Like somebody like, mm -mm, I don't trust this. And with Queen Boss Babe Independent, somebody like, look, I'm, I'm independent, I'm strong, I got everything I need, and I want to protect what I have because I can't trust you. Spirit's advice to you, Cross Watcher, when dealing with the Gemini is the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Spirit's advice to you is possibly to forgive the Gemini if you don't want them to slip away, but at least hear them out. Some of you are dealing with your child. Spirit is like, you know, hear the Gemini out. In relation to this passion, this could be a, some of your fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But Spirit is saying, listen, Gemini is going to apologize to you. But hear them out because Spirit is saying that there's a lot of passion here in unfinished business. Spirit is saying that there's a lot of love here and that um, if the work is put in, this connection can survive. Spirit, your advice to the cross watcher. Okay, let me take it. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, you have spring. You have love offer and self-love. And you were like, look, sexy, I want to be taken care of. I want love. You know, I'm taking care of me now. So when this new door to romance, this love offer come in, if it meet my needs with this new seeds being planted, pathways and beginnings, as long as it as long as it meets your needs, cross watcher, you're fine with it. But you you tell me you're not compromising yourself. You're not compromising yourself. And spirit is saying, don't compromise yourself. Make sure this love offer, make sure everything, all the I's are dotted, the T's are crossed, to make sure this is the new beginning you want. Make sure this totally meets your needs, Cross Watcher. Cross Watcher spirit advice to you is when it comes to the Gemini, no one compares to you. You're very unique. And spirit is saying, don't ignore them because you're not listening. And I'm not saying you got to take them back, but spirit is at least saying, hear them out. Because you're, you, you're not listening to them because you feel like the Gemini is inconsiderate. And you feel like the Gemini is spoiled. You telling me, look, sexy, the Gemini is spoiled, they're inconsiderate, and they feel like it's all about them. And Spirit is saying, I get it. But hear them out because it might be something you're unaware of. Hear them out. And, you know, just, just hear them out. Because you feel like I already know what's going on. Hear them out. Crosswatcher, the potential outcome for you in the Gemini is the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. The potential outcome for you in the Gemini is something valuable being handed to you. The potential outcome for you in the Gemini is this new beginning full of stability. The potential outcome for Gemini is, is that you in the Gemini is the two of you are going to think about things and you're going to um, make some changes to make things align in your favor. The potential outcome for you in the Gemini is, is that someone is going to learn what the Gemini was working on, what they were building on. Someone is going to learn how to move. It's like y'all going to learn how to move forward from this. And I see a lot of abundance here. Spirit, the potential outcome for Gemini and the cross watcher is it looks like there's a new beginning here. They're going to think about how they could change things and make things work for everyone. It looks like some um, Gemini and the cross watcher is going to figure out how to move forward and build together. Um, there might be a physical move here for some of you, but I see a lot of abundance here. Tell me about this for the cross watcher. At the bottom of the deck, you have reconciliation, you have healing and thinking of you. And in a potential outcome, cross watcher, you're not going to be able to um, get the Gemini out your mind. Y'all going to heal this. The two of you are going to repair, rebuild, and y'all going to be on the same page with a mutually agreed upon solution. Cross watcher, the potential outcome for you and the Gemini is this transformation. This transformation. Some of you Scorpios. This transformation. Okay. 
So the potential outcome is there will be a transformation through all this pain and tragedy. You and the Gemini will rise up and there will be a love offer, this new door to romance. The potential outcome is this is a spiritual bond that will not be broken, okay? So cross watcher, let me get you some advice when dealing with the Gemini. Spirit, what do you want the cross watcher to know? What advice do you have for the cross watcher when dealing with the Gemini? So cross watcher, it looks like you're going to have to um, make a decision really soon. A decision that's going to cause you to have to search your emotions when it comes to the Gemini. I don't think this has happened yet. Spirit, what advice do you have for the cross watcher when dealing with Gemini? Spirit, what advice do you have for the cross watcher when dealing with the Gemini? What advice do you have for the cross watcher when dealing with Thank you. Cross watcher. Spirit is saying helpful people. Helpful people. So there's some time apart. Spirit is saying this distance will help bring you clarity about why you and the Gemini are spending time apart. But there are people here to help you. Spirit is saying, free yourself. Free yourself. It's time to take back your energy. Like, in other words, don't loop yourself in these thoughts about the Gemini. Like, this distance should be bringing you clarity. And Spirit is sending you people to help you throughout this process. Cross watcher. Spirit is saying forgiveness. When it comes to forgiving the Gemini, make sure you take things slow. Make things you take make sure you take things slow. Make sure you know all the ins and outs of what's going on. We'll take time to get to know each other. Because I feel like it's something that you're unaware of. And spirit is saying make sure you love yourself first. Love yourself first. You know, you will it says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Because I feel like when it comes to forgiving the Gemini, you need to take this slow. Because I see someone was deceived here, especially with dishonesty coming out in the beginning. So take it slow. You can forgive them. Forgive yourself. But make sure you know everything. And make sure this truly meets your needs with love yourself first. Because for some of you, the Gemini could have ghosted you or ignored you on purpose. Cross watchers, spirit is saying in the near future, there will need to be a decision that needs to be made. It's going to be time to decide about this relationship. And spirit is saying, pay attention to the red flags because the signs are cautioning you. Okay, because there's something still not being revealed here. I feel like it's something something is not being revealed here. The Gemini is secretly longing for you and yearning for you. And maybe you need to seek some spiritual advice or some counseling from someone. And there are romantic feelings here. Spirit is saying you're ready, but pull back your energy because I feel like the Gemini is codependent or reliant on you, your energy in one way or another. And it's really important. That you search your emotions. Cross watcher, cross watcher, cross watcher. If you were here cross watching for a Gemini, you were in the right place. You were in the right place. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, cross watcher. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. Peace, cross watcher. I hope it work out for you, love. Leaving emotional bruises, huh? Yeah, and when the truth comes out, I know these suckers are clueless. So better watch your mouth because she really do this. And no need to speak because she know what the news.